Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Salem. In this video, I am going to talk about the additional 2D plots in MATLAB. So during the previous video of the 2D plots in MATLAB, we use the plot command and the plot command is just connecting the, the point using the straight line. But in this video, I am going to cover four new plot command. The first one is a vertical bar plot. The second one is a scatter plot. The third one is a stem plot. The fourth one is the pie plot. Let's start. For the first one, which is the vertical bar plot, it is, it, as we can see here, we have some x value, for example, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's kind of the value on x axis. And for each year or each x value, we have the kind of the bars to show what is the y value here. For example, at 2013, the value for the y bar was 6, and at 2014, the value was 9, and at 2015, the value was 15, etc. So the, this is kind of the bar plot. And the general form for the bar plot, it is bar and then x, comma, y. And x and y could be a vectors, and if they are a vector, they should have the same length. Let's take that quick example. For example, if we have the x-axis, the years between 2013 to 2019, and we use a comma to create that array. So it is 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we have seven value here. And uh, for the sales, which is kind of the value for y-axis, it is what is the sales for every year of these between 2013 to 2019. And to just create the similar power plot, just write power, and then x value it will be year, and y value will be sale. So just write bar year, comma, sale, we will have the same plot. And of course, we can advance a little bit the curve by entering x labeled, y labeled, and title using the as we explained before x label y label and text to advance our like plot for the second one it will be the scatter plot and the scatter plot it is like we have a dot for each value so for each x value and y value we have a dot it's very similar to the plot if we doesn't use the line, so if we assign the line to none and only use the, 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 the marker, it will be very similar to the scatter plot. And the scatter plot, it have a general form, which is the scatter and then x comma y. And if x and y are vectors, they should have the same length. For example, six element and six element. And to create the same scatter plot is very easy. It's very similar to the bar. So we have the years and we have the scale. And just instead of bar, we write scatter and then year, comma, sale. So just write like the scatter year, comma, sale. We will have that, that plot here. And after that, if we need to advance the, the, the figure using X labeled, Y labeled or the title, just we need to write X labeled is equal to year, Y labeled is equal to sales by millions, and title is kind of dummy sales, it's just example. And for the third type is a stem plot. And the stem plot, it's kind of very similar to the bar plot, but it instead of like we have a bar at each value, we have just a line, vertical line. So at 2013, the sales was kind of six. At 2014, the sales was nine. At 2015, the sales was 15. So it's kind of drawing the line and like the circle or the marker at the end. So this is kind of the stem plot. And the general form for the stem plot is a stem x comma y. So x and y, if they are vector, they should have the same length. For example, if x is six element, y should be six element. And to create the same curve the stem plot so for example if we have the year same example between 2013 to 2019 and the sales the value between these years so to draw the plot just write stem and then the years which is x value and sales which is a y value and to advance a little bit to create x labeled 
Y labeled and the dummy sales, just we can write the X labeled is the years, the Y labeled is the sales million, and the title we can write dummy sales as the previous. The last type is the buy bloat. And the buy bloat, it is similar to the buy, and we divide it at like that we show the percentage of each value to the total percentage. For example, if we have like this buy plot, we have here, for example, these are the sales and this is the percentage. And the submission of these percentage should be 100%. So 21 plus 18 plus 14 plus 17 plus 15 plus 9 plus 6, the total should be 100 because it should be 100%. And the buy plot, the general form, it's just buy of y. So it can only draw a vector. It's not like the stem, which is x, comma, y. No, the buy plot is just y. And for example, if we have the same sales value, we are going to show the percentage of the sale without the year. So if we have the same value of sales, so just write buy and then the sales, we will have the percentage for the sale in the total percentage. And then if we need to advance the plot a little bit, we can insert the title as a dummy sales. We finish here. Let's go to the, the live script just to train our hand about that. And if we I click the MATLAB, so this is the main window of MATLAB. And let me open the live script, just click open. And on the download, I have the lecture eight practice here, just open. And this is the live script. Let me minimize the current folder window, the command window, and the workspace. We don't need them. And we have our live script. This is the previous example. And this is the additional 2D plots. So in the addition to the plots, as we mentioned, if we need to create a vertical bar plot, we have the years and we have the sales. So we can write just bar and then X value is year and the Y value is sale. And just run the plot to check here. So now we have the year and sale and then it will show the bar plot down there. And here's the bar plot. Let me first suppress the output by plot semicolon, semicolon, and then let me advance this plot by adding the X labeled and Y labeled. For example, X label, it will be years. And let's check what will happen now. Now the output like that, we suppress the output and we have the X label here. And then we can put the Y label which is sales per million, we can add millions and then run the section and we will have here the Y labeled and then we can add the title as the, for example, dummy sales and then run the section and now we have, ah, because the error, we have a, like that, we capitalize the first letter. It, and he mentioned, do you mean title with a small letter? Yes. Do you need to fix? Yes, fix. And then it will just run the section. And now we have dummy seeds. And this is the second one, which is a scatter plot. And the scatter plot, it is like if we have year and sales, just write scatter. And then we can write year, comma, sale. And let me suppress the output using semicolon and then run this section. And now we have the scatter plot with these dot here. And of course, if I copy and paste the same X labeled, Y labeled, the title to advance this plot and then run the section. Now we have years, sales, and dummy for that plot. And if we go to the third one, which is the stem plot, so we can write here easily like stem 
and then we can write year comma and sale and then we can suppress the output and then run the section we have the stem plot here and if we paste the same x labeled y label and title and then run again we will have the same years sales and dummy and the last one is the like the by plot and for the by plot we have only one vector so we just write the pi and then we write sale and if we run like that we will have this pi and in that pi we only can add the title which is we can write dummy sales and then run the section and now we have these percentage with the dummy sales labeled i think they are very straightforward and as i mentioned here i i like in this video i just introduced four new like the plots which is like from the lower to upper we introduce the dummy and sorry we introduce the by plot we introduce the stem plot we introduce the scatter plot and we introduce a vertical bar plot that's all for that video thank you bye bye